All right, today we're going to discuss how to check a defrost control on a heat pump. Uh, there are two different types of defrost controls on heat pumps. Uh, one is a time temperature defrost control, which is the most common. The other one is a demand defrost control. Uh, today we're going to test the time temperature defrost control. And what it amounts to is a defrost control board with a timer in it and a defrost thermostat. Uh, I have connected my meter up to the defrost thermostat and as you can see on the meter, I am currently reading 24 volts. That indicates that my defrost thermostat is open. Um, now to initiate defrost in the field, I can simply remove a, one wire off the defrost board that goes to the condenser fan motor. Then I will re-engage power to the unit. And then I will observe and watch until my defrost thermostat closes. Once it closes, then I will read zero volts across my defrost thermostat. At that point, I will be able to initiate defrost simply by moving the test jumper here to the test position. Once I move it to the test position, the, the unit will kick into defrost, provided the defrost thermostat is closed. As you can see now, our defrost thermostat has closed. We are reading zero volts across the switch. Now I can initiate defrost simply by removing the jumper pin to the test position. Now, you'll notice I left the jumper pin on the board, and because of that, the defrost board is going to ignore it and kick right back out of defrost. So what I want to do is take the pin off, put it back on there, now I just pull it right back off and it will stay in defrost. Now it will stay in defrost until my defrost thermostat opens up, which usually opens up around 80 degrees, coil temperature, or until after 16 minutes have elapsed. One of those two things will bring it out of defrost. So we'll sit here and watch in a minute and see if the defrost thermostat now will reopen. While I'm waiting, I will very carefully put the condenser fan motor lead back on the defrost control board. Now keep in mind, this is live voltage, so you want to be very careful when doing that. I can also put the test pin back into the time position that I select. In this case, I have it set on about 90 minutes. Okay, as you can see, my defrost thermostat has now reopened. I'm reading voltage across my open switch, and the unit has came out of defrost and is in normal heating operating mode.